I'm very happy today to be talking to Mr. Hulan Zhao, Deputy Secretary General of the ITU and Executive Manager of ITU Telecom. Mr. Zhao, the World Telecommunications Policy Forum kicked off with a strategic dialogue. Could you just give us some idea of the main points that came out in that dialogue? I think that uh, the one day uh, dialogue, high level dialogue, uh, strategic dialogue, uh, give us a very good uh, picture that uh, ICT industry uh, seems to be uh, you know, touched by this financial crisis less than some other sectors. But however, still, you know, we are not uh, completely isolated from this uh, problem and uh, we do have our internal problem as well. Therefore, we need uh, to, to, to uh, you know, to have a common understanding to where we are and what we can do, you know, for the next. I'm very pleased that uh, during that uh, high level di uh, dialogue, uh, you know, the industry, you know, consider that uh, we are not the only uh, you know, um, doing our own business, but we can help our society to provide uh, more opportunities uh, to get out of this uh, financial crisis uh, quickly. And therefore, we are not part of the main problem today, but uh, still, you know, we consider ourselves as a part of uh, major solutions. One thing that came out of it was um, these calls for some sort of um, digital Marshall Plan, investment in the IC ICTs in a hope that this stimulus package might, might help kickstart the global economy, uh, or at least the telecom sector. Where would the money come from for that? <laughs> That's a good question. You cannot print money. <laughs> you need a real money. You don't uh, talk about the so-called future money. Uh, people talk about future money. You know, you use a uh, mobile phone, you can pay something, you know, that is a future money. But uh, here, I, I understand your point. It's not uh, this kind of money. That is a big package offered by the government to do the business here together with the ICT industry. Uh, I think that uh, money will come from those uh, special funds uh, offered by, by our government uh, everywhere. And also, you know, money will come, in my opinion, from those projects where we can have a sustainable development. You have investment, then you will get uh, profit, and then you get money. This might be an important part of World 2009, which the ITU is hosting in October in Geneva. Correct. Uh, IT had this uh, event uh, since 1971, and uh, we uh, already held uh, every four years since 1971 until 2003, every four years in Geneva. Then last one we had uh, in Hong Kong, China, in December 2006. And then the ITU uh, decided to come back to Geneva this year, in October. And uh, definitely, you know, we we are trying to you know, to, to, to provide, a, you know, organize a big event to show the importance of ICT in modern society and to show the technologies which will affect uh, our life in the next uh, two decades. So this is a big event for you because this happens every four years. What other issues are you going to be covering there? Yeah, this year this uh, event will be suffered uh, uh, f uh, from the financial crisis. A lot of uh, big industries now has difficulties to organize their event at our telecom event. But uh, instead, we will have many uh, national pavilions from developing countries. And I'm very pleased that uh, many developing countries you know, uh, are willing to join us to show their development of uh, ICT and telecommunication over the last uh, few years. And uh, they like also discuss with us you know, how can we make the ICT and the telecommunications better in the future and to help. It. And uh, this uh, event, we will uh, have uh, head of states, head of UN agencies for the first time uh, to join us in the debate. And uh, we will also have some thematic uh, uh, pavilions to talk about e-health, e-education, you know, universal access, all this. Uh, of course, cybersecurity, uh, green uh, uh, technology and uh, new technologies, they are all important topics for us. And uh, for uh, uh, developing countries, they also, you know, want to know, you know, how can uh, international community could help developing countries to develop their, uh, develop their services and uh, networks uh, with their limited uh, financial resources and limited uh, environment uh, uh, availabilities. But anyhow, I, I believe uh, this time, you know, we will have a very different, but still a very good, a very successful event in October.